Hey everyone, it's me, Crazy Mario Bros, and oh my god, this is my first Mario Plus collection update in almost three years. So if you've ever seen the previous ones, you would know that, oh my god, this is a massive growth, obviously, because I mean, I went almost three years without making one, so... I, my collection grew a lot. So today, I'm going to be going through all of my plushies, explaining some of the backstories, you know, explaining some fun facts, etc. I just, you know, it's a plush collection video, so I'll just be going through my collection. Before we get into this, please be sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm almost at 30,000 subscribers, and I think we can hit it in, like, the next month. So just please be sure to help me out and subscribe, if you enjoy, of course. And without further ado, um, let's, <laughs> let's get into this, because this is going to be a long video. So obviously, we should start out with the Mario section. I have a lot of Marios here, so I'll just be going through them. So obviously, here is my main Mario from my videos. This is the Mario that I use in my Crazy Mario Bros. Plus videos. And when you compare it to the other Marios, like let's say this one, you can kind of see it's obviously a little discolored, you know, just because I've had this for a few years, so it makes sense, you know. It's gotten worn out over time, but that really shows how worn out it is. It's it's a very old plush. I got it in 2012 from about uh, December because it was a Christmas gift. So I've had it for almost nine years, and that's... That's basically what happens when you own something for nine years, especially when you use it in YouTube videos for three years. It's going to get worn out. Next up, I have this wing cap Mario. There's another one right over there, and I have two of them because I think uh, this one, one of the buttons came off, and I don't really know why, so I... Wait, what? Okay, somehow I never realized that the other one was missing its button, too. Um, I seem to have a weird curse for that. Like, the buttons just come off of my wing cap Marios. I, I don't know why. So now we're gonna go through my stunt double Mario. So here is my first stunt double Mario. I believe that this is the one that I use for the video Mario Shower and Mario's Bath, but I can't really tell, honestly. I'm pretty sure it is, because this is the one that looks the most like my Mario when you compare them side by side, because there's some other ones, but they don't really look like him that much, so I typically use this one the most, because, you know, it looks the closest. Then we've got this stunt double Mario, which I believe that I used for the cake scene in my three-year special where Mario dunked his face into a cake. The reason why I used this one for that scene is because it doesn't look too much like him, and I also didn't really need to show his face. I just needed to put a Mario plush into the cake, so... That's why I use this one. And then my last stunt double Mario is this one, which is missing his hat because I cut it off for some other video. This one looks the least like him, so I'm probably never going to use this one. But it's still good to have just in case, you know, just, just, just in case. Next, I have my baby Mario plush from the Baby Bro series on my channel. Maybe I should make episode 5 soon. I don't know. Then I have an all-star Mario plush, which I don't really use this. I used it for one video, and it was Mario and Luigi's copycats. I mostly just got it just because I found it at Best Buy, and I figured I could get it. But I'm not going to use as my main Mario because I feel like my current one has a charm to it, so I, I don't want to switch around my plushies is what I'm saying. Then I have these two Kelly Toy Marios. I think the Kelly Toy Marios are really funny because, you know, they just they look really derpy and that's kind of why I like them. They're just they're, they're just funny to look at. But they also have a charm to them too, you know? I, I just like the way they look. And then I have this Mario plush from a carnival. I didn't get it from a carnival. I found it at Goodwill and I just figured I could add it to my collection. Then I have this Builder Mario plush, which I actually received as a gift from my friend Noob Master, so thank you for that. Then I have a Raccoon Mario, which I'm planning on using in a video soon, but I don't really know what for. Then I have this, uh, I don't know what it's called. I think it's a World of Nintendo Plus. I know I got it from Goodwill just like that one, but yeah. I'm not gonna use it in anything. I just thought it'd be cool to have just to, you know, just collect plushies. Then next, I have this Mario Party 5 Mario plush, which I received as a gift from Sonic Wacker 55 Thank you so much to him. That's a plush that I've always wanted, and he gifted it to me, and that is that is too nice, dude. So thank you to him, and my last Mario that I have is my Metal Mario plush, and I actually just received this for Christmas recently, and it's a really cool plush. I'm really planning on making a cool video out of it soon. All right, that's all the Marios out of the way. Now let's move on to the Luigis. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so now I'm here with my Luigis, where it, it almost looks like I have more Luigis than Marios, and actually, wait, speaking of Mario, I almost missed this one. Here is a Fire Mario plush, which I actually almost missed. That's crazy, and then I have this, like, Mario odyssey plush can't believe i almost missed those two all right now we're on the luigi section so basically here is my main luigi plush yet again this is the one i use in my main videos so if you watch my plush videos you'll know this one this is the one i use the most he's got the ripped leg because when i was younger i was an idiot and i wanted to see if it was just like the mario party 5 plush where you see it's like you can kind of take his overalls off, so I literally cut his leg open to see if it would do that, and it didn't, and I was a stupid eight-year-old, so yeah. Will I get his leg fixed? Yeah, if I can find someone who knows how to sew, and I can trust them enough not to ruin it, because this is like kind of part of history, I guess. And I can't go without showing this. This is the Luigi Kirby plush. Now, he used to have arms, but I ripped them off in the Magical List video, because... 
It was funny. Next plush I have to show is Baby Luigi, which just like Baby Mario is from my The Baby Bro series, so that's pretty cool. I don't really know when I got them. I just know I got them from Mercari a few years back. I don't think they costed that much either. They were probably only like $10. So yeah, pretty good plushies. Next, I have my Fire Luigi plush, which goes well with my Fire Mario, although I don't really know why his nose is all kind of up like that. I keep trying to push it down so you can see his eyes more, but... You, you can't really see his eyes much from this view. I don't know why. I really need to fix that. But yeah, I really like this plush, and I'm probably going to use the Fire Luigi in a video sometime soon. I was planning to do it back in November, but I didn't really have time, so yeah. Then I have my All-Star Luigi plush, which just like before, I used in my video Mario and Luigi's Copycats, where I used both of the All-Star plushies to basically just show them, I guess, clones. So I thought that video was pretty funny. Then I have this Luigi's Mansion Luigi plush. He's got the little poltergeist on him, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what to use it for. I just got it a few years back, and I think it'll be a really cool plush to use. I do have a video planned soon where I am going to use it, so stay tuned for that. Next, I have the Builder Luigi plush, which yet again, I received as a gift for my friend Noob Master, so thank you so much for that. It's a really cool plushie, and I'm glad they made it. Then I have the Raccoon Luigi, which is kind of weird compared to the Raccoon Mario, because they're like different colors. Like, Luigi's is kind of yellowish, and then Mario's is kind of brown, so it's like, I honestly don't know. It's like, they're just completely different colors, but I kind of like Luigi's, you know? I kind of like the lighter yellow. Looks pretty good. Then I have this Luigi plush that I received as a gift from Sonic Wacker 55 I mostly just keep it as a stunt double, just in case I need a stunt double for Luigi, because I don't actually have any Luigi stunt doubles yet. So it's nice to have just in case I do need a stunt double. Then I have these two Mario Party 5 Luigi plushies, whereas this one, I actually think, I think I bought before I found that one, although that one shipped first. Obviously, you can tell which one looks better, you know, you can just kind of take a look. It's that one, but I still like both of them. You know, the fact that I have two is really cool because I've always wanted one since I was younger. So honestly, this plushie is just so awesome. Like, I don't know. And you can, you can see it's real. It says Mario Party 5 and everything. So yeah, I really like that plushie. Oh yeah. And also if you're wondering about these plushies in the back, here is a mushroom, here is a banana peel, and then there is a red Koopa shell. I think those are from the Club Moki Moki set. Pretty cool plush set. I really like these large Mario plushies. I actually received this one for free from the company that Themselves. So that's pretty cool. I remember being so excited to get it. There's also a mini version of it right here, which yet again, I received from the company themselves. So thank you so much, Tommy. So next up, we're going to move on to the Yoshi section. Now, let's just start off from the back. I have these two Mario Party 5 medium Yoshi plushies. Now, why do I have two? I don't know. I'm trying to remember which one is older because I know there's one that I bought later, but I can't really tell which one it is. They're both too similar for me to tell, so I don't know. And then this is a small Mario Party 5 Yoshi plush, so you can see that they're obviously very similar because they're part of the same plush set. This one's just smaller. And then here is the main Yoshi plush from my plush video. I do have a stunt double of him. He's right here. So this is my stunt double. Obviously, it's like, you know, he doesn't seem as squishy. You know, you can kind of see that he's kind of rough compared to my main Yoshi plush where he's obviously way squishy. This one's a lot more rough, so I haven't really used that one much, but if I ever needed a Yoshi stun double, I got one right here. Then I got a red Yoshi plush from Mercari, an orange Yoshi plush from I don't really know, a blue Yoshi plush from, again, I don't really know, and then a purple Yoshi plush from Target. Now let's move on to my Bowser Jr. section, where from the looks of it, I have about six, so I'm just gonna go through all of them. So here is my main Bowser Jr. plush from my plush videos. I do have multiple stun doubles of him. I have one right here, I have one right here, and I have one right here. Now this this one actually looks the most like him when you compare them side by side. So I typically use this one if I ever need to like do something with him that I know might potentially damage him. Like if I ever need to make a costume for Junior and I can't do it on that one because I have other videos to make, then I'll just do it on the stunt double. If you've ever seen the video Werehog Bowser Jr., that's exactly what I did. I put it on that stunt double because I had other videos to make with this Junior, so I used it as a stunt double. Then I have this other stunt double Junior, which I used for a black eye scene because he doesn't look too much like my main Junior. He, his face is kind of skinnier, you know, and then this Junior's face is fatter, so I don't really use it that much. So yeah, those are my Junior stunt doubles. This is my old Bowser Jr. If if you remember from my 2018 videos, this was like my main Bowser Jr. back then from the start up until summer 2018. So this Jr. holds a bit of sentimental value to me, even if I don't really use him anymore. And then last, we have the all-star Bowser Jr. plush, which I am planning on using in a future video. However, I can't spoil anything because it's going to be a really big video. So stay tuned for that. No, I'm not switching out the plushies. I've had that confusion a few times whenever I try and tease this video. A lot of people think I'm going to switch my plushies. I don't really do that. So you don't have to worry about it. Now let's go through the Koopaling. So I obviously have 
have all seven Koopalings. I have Morton, I have Larry, I have Lemmy, I have Iggy, Ludwig, Wendy, and Roy. They're all 100% official plushies. I made sure, and you can kind of just tell by looking at them because they don't really look that bootleggy. So yeah, I think they look perfect. Larry's looking all sad as usual. Now let's move on to the Bowser section. Now you're probably wondering why am I showing so many plushies at once if it's just a Bowser section? Well, because I'm also counting the Bowser section as his minion. So I'll be going through all of them. So first of all, I don't really know what this is. I just kind of have it, but you know, I think it's called Zigzag. I'm not really sure, but it's still a pretty cool plush regardless because I don't really remember what it is. I think it's in the castle level. So here is my main Bowser plush that I use in my videos. Here is my old Bowser plush that I use in my videos because that's a newer one. This is a Mario Party 5 one. This is a bootleg one that I got from Amazon. And then here is an all-star Bowser plush. Now, the only reason I have this is because it came in a bundle with one of my junior stunt doubles. So I kind of had to get it with it. And as cool as this plush is, I wouldn't really switch it around with my Bowser because, you know, he just, he kind of looks too serious. Like this one just kind of looks goofy. This one looks kind of, you know, serious. He's also kind of fat in the stomach while this one's kind of just fat overall. I, I, I don't know. Basically, this Bowser has a charm to it and I'm not going to switch him around. Next, we actually have a custom plush, which is a Kylie Koopa plush. This was back when we were planning to make a series based off Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, where we made a custom Kylie Koopa plush. And I honestly think that this is really cool. Like even if we made this like three years ago, I still think this is such a cool custom. Obviously, you can tell we used a lot of hot glue in it. We used the Koopa plush along with the Luigi hat to make her hat. And overall, this is a really cool custom. So this custom was made by my friend Crazy Koopa Bros, who I actually film videos with. So if you're not subscribed to him, please be sure to go subscribe because he's very talented. He's the one that made this custom. I, I still think it's the coolest thing, even if we made it like three years ago. It's a really cool custom. So go check out his channel. Next, we have my main Koopa plush. I don't really use Koopa that much in my videos anymore, but this is still a pretty cool plush. This is actually a bootleg plush. So you can see it, it looks kind of weird compared to like, you know, a normal Koopa plush because it's huge, you know? But even if it is a bootleg, it doesn't really look that bad. I think it's kind of unique actually, so I don't mind it. Then I have this other Koopa plush, which I believe is just the normal goldy one. And then I have this Parachupa plush, which I don't think I've ever used. Obviously you can tell because it still has a tag on it. If I was going to use a plush in a video, I'd take the tag off. But I'll use it in a video someday because I think it looks pretty cool. Next we have this purple fish thing, which I believe I used in the video Mario's Bath. And then we have a Chain Chomp, which I haven't used in a video yet, so I'll use that sometime soon. Then we have this little Koopa robo dog thing. I think it's called Mecha Koopa. And then we have, you know, just some shells and power ups and stuff. Then we have a shy guy, a yelling Goomba plush. We have a normal Goomba plush over here too. We have a Nabbit, which I should actually probably explain the story about this Nabbit. Okay. So if you're ever going to order from Amazon and your seller is from Japan and you live in America, oh my God, don't do that. I ordered this Nabbit plush back in January, 2020, and I didn't receive it until May. I literally just completely forgot about it by then. So I don't know. I could have made a cool video at the time about like a robbery or something but you know i couldn't do that because i ended up forgetting about the idea entirely by the time i received it so i don't know i mean the plushie is really cool so maybe i'll still make a video out of it who knows here's a little uh what is this thing called? Oh, it's a pokey. It's a pokey. Okay. So I know we have two of these. It's just, I think Carter has one of them. So yeah. Then we have a spike plush, a polter pup. Like I said, another Goomba. We have lackey two. We have two boos actually. Now this is the newer one. This is the older one. This was Carter's boo plush. And this is my new boo plush. You can't really see much of a difference. I mean, it looks a little faded, but I don't know if the camera really picks it up. Like that one looks a little yellowish, but not really. Then you have these two piranha plants where this one is actually a puppet. This one is just a plush. I really like the puppet. The puppet it is so cool. I got it last Christmas and I think it's a really cool plush. Then we have Wario and Waluigi. There is my old Wario. I obviously switched to a new Wario because that one just kind of, I don't know. It's just a newer model, you know? So we're getting near the end. So let's just talk about the last few plushies. So this is the princess section. So there is a Mario Party 5 Princess Peach. My main peach that I use is that one, which is the normal Sine one. There's a baby peach in the background and there is a Princess Daisy. I'm thinking about getting a Rosalina, but I don't really know what I'd use her for because I, I haven't played Mario Galaxy before. So I, I I don't really know much about her. But hey, who knows? Maybe I'll play Mario Galaxy sometime soon. Next, I have Boom Boom and Pom Pom, which I actually used in my video, Bowser Jr.'s Bully from back in the summer, if you've ever seen it. Then I have Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, which Donkey Kong I used in the video called Donkey Kong. And then Diddy Kong, I don't think I've ever used, so he's just kind of there for now. Maybe I'll bring back Donkey Kong in the future and add Diddy Kong to it. Who knows? And then last but not least, who could forget the most important section? The Toad section. Now here is my main Toad. He's the normal Sine Toad. And then these are two Mario Party 5 Toads. This one was a gift from Sonic Wacker 55, just like the Mario Party 5 Mario and that stunt double Luigi. I forgot to mention that this Mario Party 5 Peach is also a gift by him. He gave me four plushies. He's, he's so nice. And then last but not least, we have a Toadette plush, which I actually 
won in a giveaway by Super Mario Richie. However, the hair kind of fell off and he offered to fix it for me, but I don't know anything about shipping, so I never really went through with it. Still a pretty good plush though. And yeah, that is my Mario plush collection of January 2021. Oh my God, that was so long. Tell me in the comments what Mario plush is your favorite. Personally, I think that that big banana plush is really cool, but I also like my Mario Party 5 Bowser. I always consider that one of my favorite plushies. Let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite and also just let me know in the comment section what's your favorite mario character because if you guys say in the comments a character that i don't have a plushie of maybe i'll buy them in the future also let me know down in the comments if you want me to do more of these plush collections because obviously i didn't do one for like almost two to three years so maybe i'll start doing them every few months again like i used to anyways yeah that's my mario plush collection i'm crazy mario bros please subscribe to this channel because we're almost at 30,000 subscribers also follow me on instagram obviously because i'm trying to hit 10k on there leave a like on this video if you enjoyed and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye